Hello, I'm Greg. How are you? Today I will explain about G-Scan 2 Oscilloscope. Many customers are confused about grounding when using G-Scan 2 Oscilloscope function in 2-channel or 4-channel mode. As you can see, each of G-Scan 2's scope lead has split two ends. The scope lead A has A1 and A2 probes. The scope lead B has B1 and B2 probes. When you are using G-Scan 2 oscilloscope in two-channel mode, A1 and B2 probes are used for getting the signals. In this case, A2 and B2 are used for grounding and you are required to extend them to the baker body or battery minus. It's simple. One is signal and the other is ground. Here is trick. If you insert a ground jack to the other probe, then you can simply ground both probes to a single ground point together. When you are using the oscilloscope in 4-channel mode, A1, A2, B1, and B2. All of these probes are used as signal probes. Signals received from each of the probes will be displayed on the screen. In this case, you cannot use A2 and B2 for grounding. Then you will have to use the external ground cable to provide good grounding to the oscilloscope. This is the external ground cable and you can use this by inserting the jack to the G-Scan 2's VMI ground port. And extend the clip to the body or battery minus terminal. Please remember this information and don't make mistakes while you are using the G-Scan 2 oscilloscope function in two-channel mode, use A2 and B2 for grounding. In four-channel mode, do not forget to use the external ground cable. Have a good day. Bye.